whales, the largest animal to have ever existed on the planet. In a 24-day expedition, the British Antarctic Survey aimed to study the southern right whale around the area of South Georgia and the Sandwich Islands, in which numbers had been significantly affected due to whaling. In total, 10 whale specialists and 5 crew members travelled on board the research vessel Braveheart. She was a Japanese research vessel, um, fisheries research vessel, built in the early 80s. So uh, built in a really good era of um, uh, before electronics really came out, so it's um, fixable at sea. Um, yeah, so for um, 8 or 22 years we've just been um, playing pretty much either South Pacific or, or Southern Ocean and uh, have done most of the sub-Antarctics. And this was a really awesome trip for us as a crew because we got to circumnavigate the island clockwise, anti-clockwise and go into a, a beautiful variety of different anchorages for different reasons, you know, where they chased us around. And uh, the absolute highlight was having a blue whale pop up right alongside the boat, so close that we could hardly even see it because it was right next to us. And its, it's blowholes were like the size of your thigh. And uh, yeah, it was the size of the boat. It was just, yeah, it was pretty cool. Funded by a Darwin Plus Fellowship, which provides financial assistance for environmental projects in the UK overseas territories. The expedition is part of an overall three-year project to study whale populations around South Georgia, and this year saw some quite unexpected results. In 2018, there were just two sightings of humpback whales. This year, the scientists recorded over 500. In addition, there were over 50 blue whales located, which is more than all the previous sightings over the past 20 years combined. This is probably the most successful year of it because of the number of whales we came across this year. I think having come across you know, the large numbers of blue whales, large numbers of humpback whales, and got the, the, the work done on the southern rights, I think that will probably set, set off some whole new ideas for future work. I think that realisation now that the whales are coming back to South Georgia waters um, means we've got to be get a better understanding of how they interact with the ecosystem around South Georgia. Clearly the whales were, were quite badly decimated by commercial whaling a long time ago and for many years there's been no sense that the populations have recovered. So this season has been, seems to be pretty special and unique. What would be really interesting is to know whether this is the number of whales we've seen this year at South Georgia is a one-off or whether that is a sign of the future and future years are going to see that same number of whales around the island. On the majority of the days the weather was particularly favourable and the southern right whales are the rarest kind of large whales in the world, with an estimated 10,000 dotted around the globe. They are frequently studied in the South Atlantic Ocean and have known breeding grounds on the Patagonian shelf. However, there is very little knowledge on their feeding grounds around South Georgia, which the scientists were trying to get a clear picture of. They haven't been doing quite so well recently. There's been half high calf mortalities. So a lot of the calves have been dying. So part of the aim of the project was to really understand what, what's going on with the feeding, which we know is, is linked to their, their breeding success and also linked to krill availability at South Georgia and global climate. So this is one of the populations that we can use to understand how climate change might be affecting whales. We've got our survey data from around the island but we also managed to tag two right whales with satellite transmitters so they will continue to provide data over the next few months showing where they're going so we're, we're able to, to kind of carry on the study by, by looking at those data as, as, as they come in. And we'll now go back and, and analyse the, the data from the survey. We'll look at the acoustic data and put that together with the visual data to, to look at the kind of distribution and numbers of, of whales around South Georgia. And also there are a lot of photographs that can be used to identify individual animals, both of right whales, blue whales and humpback whales. And they will all be matched with global catalogues to, to see if the individuals that we saw are, are already known and what's known about those individuals. <laughs>